strong. Like, I've been through so much. I've seen so much. I've been attacked so many times. Death threats. I've been sexualized. I've been threatened. I've been so many things, and I've stood strong every single time. And I just try to stand strong for my teammates because I don't want them to see me down and, like, not be there for them. So I just want to always just know, like, I'm still a human, like, all this has happened since I won the national championship. And I said the other day, I haven't had peace since then. And it sucks, And but I still wouldn't change. I wouldn't change anything. And I would still sit here and say, like, I'm unapologetically me. I'm going to always leave that mark and be who I am and stand on that. And hopefully the little girls that look up to me, and hopefully I give them some type of inspiration that, you know, hopefully it's not this hard and all the things that come at you. But... Keep being who you are. Keep waking up every day. Keep mo- being motivated. Staying who you are. Staying ten toes. Don't back down. And just be confident. That's Angel Reese. It's the lady that uh, was on LSU. Best player over there. Um, so that was Angel Reese, guys. Uh, best player from LSU. This was after this press conference afterwards. Um, so there's a lot of discussion on this online that I saw. Uh, all the way from, like, you know, extreme empathy and people seeing that really that resonating. And then other people kind of i don't know i guess uh, i saw people that were not taking it super super sincere uh because obviously last year when they played there's a little bit more of like a uh, at least like I said the online tilt was a little bit more of like a villain mentality so when you're on top you know you're basically like fuck you get up out of here where the shit and then uh then you're you lose and then you're on the podium here and you're crying and uh asking for sympathy and saying you've been sexualized and shit like that so i want to get you guys well, to, i think i yeah, think you became sexualized before that before that game last year because wasn't yeah, he like hanging with like drake and stuff like that or something? i don't remember uh about that i remember like i do think she was like like a I mean, but this really wouldn't she, be sexualized, in my opinion. I think she was in the uh, like ESPN Body Edition. I think. Yeah. I, like I vaguely remember I, I, I that. But either way, I, I mean, forget who. All, I feel like but, that. But I know she's done like 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 a bikini shoot. Yeah. Or, yeah. I wouldn't uh, say. Yeah. I, I mean, everyone again, man. This is this conversation. Like, I always have empathy for, but at the same time, it's kind of everyone. Everyone gets gets sexualized. Like, bro, Chris Hemsworth is yeah, sexualized. Bro, I was like, I'm sexualized bro. every day. <laughs> bro, bro, Tom Brady, <laughs> Tom Brady, what wasn't Tom Brady the hottest dude? Like, yeah. all, like, like yeah. all this Travis Kelsey, all this, all the, like Jason Kelsey went sexy man of the year. So yeah. men are sexualized. Women is the same thing. Again, yeah. you do the sports. It's supposed to be celebrated at some point. Like, it should be celebrated. But at the same time, there is the weirdos who cross the fucking line. I will say, it seems like. <laughs> Yo, what <laughs> is this? Because like we're just gonna. Group. But uh, poster girl's dress it should look like an American girl doll dress. You'll put it to your body. That's what right. she yeah, that's what she posted. So just so, you know, so she, yeah. she's upset about being sexualized. You right can't now. so see she did it, she yeah. did that herself. But again, people take it too yeah, far. And I get that. Well, no, I mean she definitely is crying. She's being a fucking crybaby, honestly. I didn't like anything no. about what she's saying because uh, it is the thing, it's like you just lost to the person. That I wouldn't say. I think it is taunting. I I like taunting personally. Like I said, I think it builds shit like this. We yeah. we as as the viewers like this. Why right. we like WWE, which everybody knows is fucking fake, and we still watch it. We're like we're like there's shit talk and motherfuckers. You know, so I mean, like, like so there's definitely something special with that. Somebody that will cross that line of sportsmanship a little bit and you know blur those lines. Um, so you know, you yeah, I think in this moment, you know, in this moment that is Iowa's moment. This is kind of, a, a, in my opinion, a silly thing. Now, I understand you're just so emotional. You have to break down on the podium or whatever. Yeah. But it's like when you're saying, like, I hope nobody, I hope none of you have to go through this. I will be honest. As of somebody that is a fucking normal adult, I'm like, bro, give me your fucking problem. No disrespect. <laughs> and I'm sure there's more that comes with it. But I'm like, it's a privilege to be playing on a uh, Elite Eight or Final Four yeah. level. Like, to be a... a, a, a Need, about to be a professional fucking athlete yeah. and you want to right. you want to be like sad about your position it's okay like I, I have empathy for one being sad at that moment you just lost i get that that was the conversation i get it but her saying i haven't been happy since last year since yeah, i won the national right. championship yeah, that's, that's <laughs> looking at you crazy right now yeah. uh, give me a national championship once in bro, my life i'm bro, sorry i'm about to bro, break down, I, I, I'm about I, to break down. I, you're right yeah <laughs> no you're right and then, and then and then you can't be the person talking all this shit for all this time and this flat out fucking cry about well you know people treat me like a villain and there's no listen you've played the heel when you showboated to someone's face oh, yeah. 
Yeah. That's you playing the heel. Like you did that. And then it's not where I don't hate her. No, I don't think you hate her either. No, but, but on the court, like, like she said, when on the court, I don't got no friends. Yeah. I agree, but with that mentality, you yeah. are also the bad, the bad guy. You're yeah. the asshole. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. So I would I wish is if she would have been like, hey, you know, like we did what we did. I'm I'm upset that we lost. And you know, but you know, you, you know, bets believe I'll I'll be back on my best game, da 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 da, whatever. Yeah. And then take that en- energy to the WNBA. And again, yeah, bring that because now all that hype she built around who Angel Reese was, it kind of kind of dropped it. Get dropped right. a little bit. Yeah. Right. Now you're gonna keep your true fans. But all those people who kind of like, hey, man, I respect the way that she that she does this and plays the bad guy because everyone wants that around sure. in sports. You kind of lost and, that. And her edge, her not. I mean, she's still just great at basketball. But um, I think like a lot, little bit of her persona was like a Charles Oakley like mm-hmm. enforcer yeah. persona. Right. So it's like when you're sitting here, and even if like she wanted to get on here and say, hey, I had a rough year, like those kind of things, I get. But you're literally on a soapbox up here, like, right? Yeah. Like crying about about being famous, which uh, right. presumably is what you want because you you have a TikTok where you, you uh, a lot of money. where you wear this shit. It's like, come on, well, like are you wearing that? Are you wearing that <laughs> not for attention on <laughs> TikTok? Right and exposing for to yeah. be sexualized. Right. No, hold on. So when you use the the this should look like an American background? girl doll like, dress. That's not. So you're not trying to like take advantage of a trend so more people can see you. Right. Exactly. Like using give me a break. Voice? The background voice where the guy's talking is not her. Oh, so she's oh. using somebody else's yeah uh, voiceover to bring more eyes. Just so mo- more people can see her. Exactly. Man. So she's piggybacking off of that. But um. But, so but, yeah, it's just it seems just disingenuous. Like what the fuck yeah, is that? What course. is this? Like it's a sore, really sore loser. This is a different version of a sore loser. But for again, um, she is a young. She's a yeah. young person who's. High in a highly emotional state. So again, I'm, oh, gonna, sure. I'm gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you gotta you gotta take what it is. Yeah, you, we're gonna cr- criticize it. We're gonna say our opinion and be like, hey, yeah, we think this, this, that. Again, just fucking come out. Don't even mention it again. Just fucking just stop with the with the victim shit all the time. Again, the yeah. girls, are, the young girls looking up to you, look at you as a strong woman. Sure. Right. And I, yeah. that's not to say that you can't have a weak moment. We all do. Yeah. Right. So it's just like but to, but, that, but that, to that extent, point, it's like right, it's right, like right. a lack of self awareness. It's like that is like a, in my opinion, is a little bit of like a me right kind of attitude where it's like, yo, all everybody around you just lost tonight. Right. Some people are not going to go on and become a professional fucking basketball player either. You right. feel what I'm saying? Oh no, yeah. This is some of these ladies' last time they'll ever last play time. on a fucking. And guess what? Nobody's going to be looking for them either. You feel what I'm saying? Like if you, you post, if you post a TikTok, if you put some on Twitter, you're gonna people give a fuck that you're doing whatever you're doing, bro. Um, all, all, all that's going to happen is six years from now, some of them are going to post a comment on Twitter or on Instagram, and and an LSU women's basketball long. fan. Is going to see like oh oh my god I like that I, I do that with some Alabama players that that, oh, have, yeah. that are done you know I'm like yeah. oh my god oh some of them got fucking YouTube channels yeah, yeah uh, I've seen a few uh, YouTube channels Makai Brown yeah yeah I uh, think they had a YouTube didn't she have a YouTube channel last year or something they might have because they definitely have TikTok and I've seen several videos of like I think uh, it was going like it should be fine, bro yeah bro. It should be straight with no matter what a but a that's why we're looking at her like yeah. come yeah. on you're tripping because you're gonna be so you're gonna be so fine yeah she she's straight. Yeah, if like yeah, we're like yeah. when you say I hope you guys, that's where really where she lost. Honestly, I was, I wasn't loving it, but where she really lost, she was like, I hope you, you guys don't ever have to go through anything like this. I'm mean, like, you just had yeah. a great fucking day. You lost a basketball game, Five yeah, people. but you got to play, bro. You know what I mean, what, what's her follower account on Instagram? Do you know? Oh, she's probably going I, crazy. I could bring it. I just yeah, share us. Don't want share us, Angel. Reese. I just I, I just saying like <laughs> like I know like like again, there's not bro the highest nil earners like like yeah. that like that list came out. She's on there. Uh, oh, sure. yeah, she's she on might. there. Caitlin Clark's on there. Uh, yeah, she might. Uh, I forget. I can. Yeah. I can uh, Can't let's know about her pockets. But, uh, okay, let's see. Um, let's, let's figure it out. There's a one. Of the top is a the Bronny James number one, which of course is. How's that thing. make you feel? <laughs> yeah. Nepo baby. <laughs> and then, and then, Nepo baby. And then, um, out. Two. I forget. Uh, Damn. Who is two? Balls. I remember, but 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 there's this LSU gymnast, the, this female gymnast who she's like number three or so in IO, making money. All the all the fucking uh like athletic apparel brands and makeup brands and was, sponsor her. In the in the in that one, Dion and all them guys was going to school. Yeah, no, they were just getting paid. This says Dion. <laughs> this says Dion has the most. I don't know if this. I mean, not Shadir. Shadir has the most. I don't know if this is accurate. Um, Archie Manning, Archie Manning at five, yeah, four point seven. Uh, and I think, uh, here, let me. He went in the draft. Just since March tenth, I was. No, it's next year. Um, by the way, so Angel Reese, she's uh, one point eight million from her nil deals. So there's one called Market Watch. Market Watch. 
Yeah. Work. So I can bet you shouldn't even work at Burger King and play football or whatever, basketball. What the fuck is yeah. That? That's why I don't know. Like with the big three thing, I don't. I wonder how much leeway they're going to give people, like a f- female basketball specifically playing in that. If you type it in that, maybe. Uh, well, Top and I L. I mean, oh. you're professional at that point, so it didn't matter. Um, professional at that point, so it shouldn't matter. Yeah. All right. It's, so it's supposed to be a college Carson Beck at one point five. Waste of fucking money. Jalen Milrow. 